Jesus time, Jesus time. I am so happy it's Jesus time. Welcome back, friends, to another week of being in God's Word together. I'm so happy to be here with you. Hello, everyone out there. Um, we are going to learn two Bible stories this week, actually. Usually we do one, but this week we're going to be focusing on two. Um, you might notice today I have something hanging around my neck. It's a tool of some kind. Hmm. Do you have any idea what these might be called? It's a tool called binoculars. Do you have binoculars at home? Maybe your parents have a real set of binoculars at home. This is a pretend one that I made. Um, and it's actually our Bible story token for today. So I'm hoping that you can make a set of binoculars for yourself too. Do you know what binoculars do? Hmm. What do they do? Do they help you to see unicorns? <laughs> they help you see things, that's for sure. Binoculars help you to see things as if they're closer. You can see things that are far away if you look through binoculars. So, hmm, today for our Jesus lesson, I am going to go bird watching. I'm going to see if I can see any birds, okay? I'm going to look around. Hello, birdies. Oh, I see one. Oh, it's a chickadee. Have you ever seen a yellow chickadee before? Aren't they so beautiful? I'm so glad God made chickadees. They make a chirping sound. Can you make, can you tweet like a bird? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Come on, let me hear you birdies. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, a chickadee is a very cool kind of bird. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find any other ones. Look all around, birdies fly high, they fly low, they sit in the trees. Look around, oh, I see another one. Wait a minute, this is a duck. Is a duck a bird? It absolutely is. Yes, I am a bird. Quack, quack, quack. Can you make a, a ducky sound? Come on, duckies, let me hear your quacking. Quack, quack, quack. Louder! Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> I've seen a lot of ducks around lately now that the weather's warmer. Have you seen any? Another kind of a bird. Okay, I'm going to look around and see if I can see another kind of bird. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I see something, but I'm not sure if it's a bird. It's Bernie the sheep. <laughs> Bernie, what are you doing? You can't fly like a bird. You are a land animal. <laughs> Bernie, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use my binoculars and see if I can look around one more time. Any more birds? High up in the sky, down on the ground where? Oh, I see one. Wait a minute. What kind of a bird is this? This is a penguin. Do penguins live in Fond du Lac? No, not usually. They live in the cold weather, right? They live in the Antarctic. They live in the South Pole. Far away, usually. Yeah, they don't usually live here. But I like penguins. Aren't they pretty cool birds that God made too? So cute. All right. Well, friends, today... Like I said, you can make a set of binoculars just like Mrs. Walta. I just used two toilet paper tubes and I stapled them together. Maybe you could tape them together or glue them together or put a rubber band around them, however you want to get them to stay together. And then I just put some string. I popped two holes in the sides and put my string in. Um, I put a piece of yarn in your supply bag if you are one of my students so that you could hang your binoculars around your neck. And then I challenge you, can you go out and see how many birdies you can find today in your yard? I bet you can find a lot of birds. There are lots out now. All right, well, let's get down to story time, shall we? Our story for this, for this day looks like this. We're going to read it off of our cross connections sheets. And, of course, there's a coloring sheet to go with it. Yay. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to read the story off the back. And you can read this with your mommy and daddy at home, too. I hope that you do that. All right, then we'll sing the little song and say the prayer together as well. Let's turn back this way. 
If you heard, hear the word bird in the story today, I hope that you can make a birdie with your hands. Just hook your thumbs together. See how I'm hooking them together? And then flap your wings. So if you hear the word bird, make a bird with your hands. All right. So let's get started. You know, God made many, many creatures in his world, didn't he? He made the birds and he made you. He made people. Let's hear about both of those things in our stories today. God takes care of the birds. God loves us and wants us to know that he will always give us the things we need. One day when Jesus was with his friends, he told them, think about the birds. They don't worry about what they are going to eat or drink. They don't have big barns to gather and keep their food in, but God always feeds them. You are much more special to God than the birds. God knows what we need, so we don't need to worry about anything because he loves us and will always take care of us. Wait, is that really true? It is true that God loves us even more than the birdies. He loves all of his creation. The world that he made is special to him, but people are his most special creation. And he wants us to live with him forever in heaven. Yeah. Um, will he always take care of us? Boy, sometimes we get worried now. You might be worried. Your mom and dad might be worried about the sickness that's in our world right now. Is God taking care of us even though there's a lot of sickness in the world right now? Absolutely. Um, we might be sick sometimes. We might be healthy. Um, but God gives us everything we ultimately need. And he gives us the thing we need most. He gives us Jesus. And he gives us heaven. Eternal life. In heaven with him. He knows what you need. And will give you everything you need. Okay? All right, friends. Um, maybe, like I said, you have a challenge to go out and see how many birdies you can count. Share it with me, okay? Let me know how many you find. Um, let's sing our little song. We're going to learn about this story some more as the week goes on. But for right now, let's sing the little song that's on the back. I'm going to use a shaker. Do you have a shaker you can use at your house? Some kind of a noise maker? Our song goes like this. Skid-a-ma-rink-a-dink-a-dink, skid a rink a do God loves you. skid a ma rink a dink a dink skid a ma rink a do God loves you. He loves you in the morning and in the afternoon. He loves you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skid a ma rink a dink a dink Skid a ma rink a do God loves you. Isn't that kind of a fun song? All right, we'll sing it again tomorrow. Let's close with our prayer, okay, friends? Let's fold our hands today, and I just want you to listen with your ears. Give your ears a little shake and fold your hands. No copycat today. Here we go. Dear God, you love and care for the birds every day. Help me to remember that you love me even more than the birds and that you will always give me the things I need and take care of me. Help me not to worry about anything. Amen. All right. Okay, friends, thank you so much for talking about birdies with me and talking about Jesus with me today. What would we do without him, right? Okay, we'll see you next time, everyone. Till then.